Hey y'all, Happy New Year. Hope you had a great one. So uh, we're back after a little bit of a holiday uh, to catch some sun back to the uh, Dutch winter. And uh, it's been very gloomy and miserable, but today a little bit of sun, so that's great. And uh, yeah, so just looking at the Encyclia Vitalina here, the orange one, very beautiful. Fully open now, almost. And I uh, can just take a quick look at what else is in bloom. Got uh, the slippers all going strong there. Um, yeah, so I've got a new phone and I'm just trying to figure out how to use it. But the focus is a bit uh, tricky, I've noticed. Uh, so, yeah, from this distance it's okay. And then when I get into this distance it's kind of... Oh, now it's holding the focus pretty well. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, so this one opened up. Let's get it in there. Yeah, this is uh, Victoria Marie. Is that right? Victoria Marie. Yeah, there's the, the label. Um, yes, this one's just opened up. And the other one uh, is this one, Prim Druid. This one is a primary hybrid of Drurii and Primulinum, I believe. There you have it, very nice. And a couple of other ones still going or yet to open up. Uh, this is the uh, Venustum here in all its glory, in the sunshine, looking really good. So I had this plant for many years, pretty regular, reliable bloomer. And this one uh, still to open up. It's, uh, this one is the primary hybrid of Venustum alba and Primulinum, I think. Um, yeah, and over here I've got uh, something which I'm pretty excited about. On the very long spike there is uh, Lelia Anseps uh, Guerrero form. And uh, yeah, I looked it up, uh, so I purchased this one uh, from Schroeter in April of 2008. Uh, that's not a, a misprint, <laughs> it took me that long. Uh, this is the first time blooming, uh, it's obviously my own fault because it's not that hard to grow, but uh, I was trying to grow it on a mount. And now, uh, yeah, so I put it, potted it up about three years ago into this very coarse uh, bark mix. And uh, the combination of that and uh, keeping it outdoors in the summer started to grow a bit better, well, a lot better. And uh, really beautiful fragrance on this one also. Uh, very strong, uh, fruity uh, fragrance. And this, uh, this one here is still going after quite some weeks. Uh, this is the Sing Ying Scarlet Cherry. Uh, there's the, I don't know if you can read it there, but um, Sing Ying uh, is the name of the nursery, I guess. Uh, yeah, so that one's still going. And I've got this, uh, I can try to get it into the sun, get a bit of sun onto it. Does that work? Anyway, this is the uh, <coughs> Zygo Petalum Hybrid. We'll try to get another shot of that with a bit of sun on it. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, Zygo Petalum uh, Hybrid with uh, the sun shining on it. And of course, uh, the colours are a bit uh, slightly. It's not too bad actually. It's pretty close to what I'm seeing. Um, and this one is a hybrid of, uh, let's see if we can get that into focus, Trist, Zygopetalum Trista by Arta Alle. And uh, it's a fragrant one also, but the fragrance is just starting to open up. Flowers are just opening up, the fragrance is coming in. Uh, but yeah, it's got two spikes, first time blooming. Um, pretty big plant. <laughs> so this one likes to go outside uh, during the summer also. And the little uh, 
little Phalaenopsis still going there. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I've got in bloom at the moment. Uh, apart from now, if we go all the way over here, I've got this little Encyclia uh, blooming again. Nice combination there with the, the blue of the um, African violet. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you had a great festive season and a uh, good new year. And I uh, hope you're able to keep up all of your uh, resolutions. If you made any, if you didn't, well, good luck to you. <laughs> Most of us, uh, I think, do. And uh, I know I made a, f a couple as well, so trying hard to, to stick to that. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah. so one of the things, I've uh, got the new phone as I mentioned, so that hopefully that's going to open up some new possibilities for filming because the, the latest generation phones uh, have some pretty fancy features on them. Uh, so I'm going to have to figure out how to use them and uh, hopefully can improve uh, videos to make them uh, a bit, uh, well the focus is one of the things uh, I'm hoping to improve and then the sound as well. Uh, so yeah, just some minor improvements. Yeah, that's it and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.